Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we have some work to do in here. Well, I was thinking I need to organize all these tools that I have. This box, a uh, deep box I have to say. And that's not only this box, also I have this kind of container. I think this one from the sheets or some, yeah, I think it's a bit like a bed sheets a little holder or from some kind of blanket and it's full as well so this is like three years of diamond painting also it's not only uh, trace from diamonds that I already did diamond painting like completed but also when I do my unboxing uh, I don't put back very often I just leave trace outside of the canvases only those that I know will be a giveaway I keep as a completed set with the trays inside other than that it's easy to put them back in a folder uh, without trays so I kind of like you know put them all in a box let me dump everything in a table and see how much we have I think before I was trying to separate them a little bit so I have to, if I will separate them by the type, like in separate storage area, it will make me less room than, you know, ooh. okay, 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 we are doing good. See, like I already have some pre-sorted, a um, little bit like this, so when I put them all together, and you can see here different colors, different type. It takes less space than it would be like this. So now I'm going to open this, the other one. And I am going to separate them all. Oh my God, you can't even see the disaster from this point. Whew. This is crazy. This is crazy. Wow. Let me take your camera a little bit back. Oh, it's gonna fall on the floor. Let me show you a little bit further away. If I step back, this table, look at it, it's full. I don't know how many in here, but what I will do, what I will do. I have in here, um, where did I get this? I can't remember. I have this tray. Oh, I flipped my screen. Okay, I have this tray that I was using once upon a time for the makeup separation. Kind of uh, one, two, three, and one smaller one section in here. So I'm gonna put like a trace, um, pink pants, maybe tweezers and a wax and a baggie somewhere else so I'm gonna put at least half of this a little bit back into the box so we can see room a little bit on this table so uh, I'm just gonna put back in a box half of it and try to separate first what I will do with all of them is the question that will be answered in some of the videos. I plan to do some DIY project. Oh, see, I have already, I did before from all those trays, I already have a big bag of pants. Some with grippy, some white, some pink, some with glitter. So yeah. This one already kind of organized a little bit. I have some square of this trays that I don't really use them. One side in here for 2.8 millimeter diamonds and the other side for 2.5. Can you see the number up there? There. So it's a double sided trays. Because before when we start diamond painting, most of the diamonds was 2.5 millimeters. It's now, it, they all 
probably mostly of them 2.8 now or oh, see I, I see in here this bag of cheap tweezers in here I have in here some good tweezers the metal one that I love to work with uh, so I kind of separated them before a little bit but that's all I kind of did so far and the rest of just a mess so also it's going to be handy the ziplock bags for me to reuse them for some diamond paintings okay so here is what I will do still tons of uh, stuff well I just wanted to pull out to show you how much I have at one shot and I still have some diamond painting that still have trace inside of them so this is kind of what I will do uh, the wax I will dump in this little section in here green trace pan or oh, here I have actually straightener I will put straightener next to wax in here on the corner and Ziploc bags for now I will put right on a table somewhere behind in here because it's going to be lots of them and uh, yeah so when I stack them on the top of each other it will have more or less to store them like more space will taken away and I'm just gonna stack like big uh, bags on the top of each other when I have a small one for example also in here you know I need a one more something container for the garbage for this one because they're gonna fly all over house and then I have the okay, tray go here and the little tiny ziplock bag somewhere in a separate um, I might just gonna stack them all together and then put all little ones inside of the one big one and that's going to be my storage for little ziplock bags okay and then there's a different containers in here different um, style for example two white containers but you can see how much the other one is actually bigger because the little one is almost fit inside of each other if we can put them uh, one have a grid something on the back the other one doesn't have and a little bit bigger size one is bigger than the other one so those ones as well will be kind of separate I'm gonna separate them by the by the kind by the size and for example where is the uh, here is one of the dreamers design one is small one but they are all the same so this one probably gonna fit yeah they kind of fit all together in here like this so that's my work will be for this containers am I gonna keep a, this dreamer design separately now did you watch live stream of dreamer design where they are showing new designs Uh, new designs uh, five artists was showcased that was very interesting some of them are super gorgeous uh, so if you can you can go to dreamer design uh, Facebook page and maybe watch replay of the live stream so you can see uh, that would be interesting so on the end of November we should have new new designs available for you to order so also today in my video we will see a little bit of my craft room not exactly like craft room craft room but just a little bit I want to show you what I'm doing because I do clean up I already mentioned this in few of my videos that I reorganize and everything and we will see my progress a little bit now the pan I'm planning to 
pr uh, try to do um, clay wrap and design maybe even macrame I, I want to do something with them to make them unique and that's my plan for the pan for the tray I don't know yet I have some idea but for now I'm not gonna say it yet because that could be our projects for uh, DOY, DIY videos for next year. Okay, so I'm not going to really show you all the process. So this is what I'm going to do. And it's going to take me probably for hours to finish this. Now let's go. I'm going to show you now progress of my custom diamond painting. If we look. Uh, I finished already this pink petal that I really wanted to see. Uh, some centers left. So I already, I'm going to show you how much I finished. This is all the colors that I already completed. There's lots of them. And every color, that's all leftovers diamonds. So you can tell that lots of diamonds leftovers with with this custom diamond paintings and I put lots of lots of diamonds because I do by the color so you can't really see progress till it's really done and today I will work I think on the symbol S and I will complete this flower and this one because this side kind of lots of symbol S in here barely any here mostly blues and purples kind of blues colors but from far it looks beautiful uh, now I did try if you watch my unboxing I got this cute little doll head moving you can turn around uh, drill pen it's a wooden or plastic maybe plastic I think look at this cutie She's like, oh, I'm shy. Hello. I try to diamond paint. And to be honest, it's not comfortable. It's very bulky to me. And when I place, it kind of, the thickness of the pen in here kind of hides in the spot where I want to place diamonds. So I have to kind of look from the side where to place it. So it's, it's cool to keep it as a decoration or put in a holder with all your drill pens for collection and just a cute stuff but to drill I find a little bit heavy on my wrist and just bulky not comfortable to see because this pen drill in here uh, this point not very like sticking out so it's when you look in it like this see you cannot see uh, where you're gonna place it if I look straight up so I have to kind of look from side by my vision, like from here. Um, yeah, it's cute, but to drill, that's what I do. The regular pink diamond painting tool. Okay, let's hide. So I think a few more days and I will finish this one. Now let's go to my craft room and I'm going to show you a little bit of disaster up there. Okay, so here's my tiny craft room and I managed to clean my huge table so this is like a big table uh, and then there's another table and they kind of like a stacking on the top of each other it's it has a wheels and for now I managed to empty I went through those the bins the other bin up there were further up there is like a fabric and some clothes temporarily then I put up there in here and this okay I'm gonna show you this is my 3d project diamond painting that box up there that's a giveaway canvases that I collected for Christmas time now in this bin okay I managed to put all my diamond painting well not all of them let me just put this okay see why it's going after focus Oh, one more board her done. I bought this from dollar store for my DIY project. So all canvases in here, see, they can stretch. 
Now that canvas, that's my custom portrait, and excuse this naked girl mannequin up there. Um, it doesn't fit all the way up there because the mannequin kind of don't let stretch properly. And if I would push a little bit further in here, the canvas would be hanging out from this table. So I just like wrap a lot fall behind my table and it's all the way in here. In here we have this cottage. We have, uh, hold on, what else we have in here? My poppy flowers, the cardinals up there, those birds. Then we have in here my branch beautiful canvas. So I put in here mostly all of them that I've been working on. Okay, this is my other rose canvas that I did not start yet up there. Here is my coffee time that I didn't work for a while. In here, we cannot see right now, but this is my piano girl in here. Then we have this one that are all like a city, all the gems that is not on sale anymore. That's why they kind of don't work on them. And then we have, uh, what's in here? I can't even remember what kind of, kind of canvas is it. Oh yeah, okay, so this is speaking my my uh, custom diamond painting that all the way finishing up there. And then in here, in here another new, brand new picture that I did not work yet, but it's already kitten up. And this one also brand new, it's kitten up, but I didn't work on it yet. And then up there, Dreamer's Design Canvas, um, that it's already some diamonds on it and let me put this boards back in here on this table for time being I'm still it's all in work in progress in this box I keep in my diamonds from um, other custom roses um, now this this bin that's what I wanted to have a, this kind of bin that has a wheels uh, one more from Walmart and now it's going after focus because of the white surface so if I pull out a little bit um, you can see there is lots of diamond paintings up there originally I wanted to stash in here all my diamond paintings maybe flat like a bigger canvases but I'm not sure they will fit in here maybe some of them will fit because I have in here my gift from Remy Adams um, because of the where is it okay see like in here there's those wheels that sticking out so it's kind of like my canvas not going to be exactly flat all the way to the end so I don't know so for now I have this and I need to reorganize pull out now I have let me show you closet area um, actually the stuff in here is still everywhere because it's work in progress now in here uh, the shelving I did not work on it yet and I will be um, redoing up there somewhere uh, my dragon canvas in it is the spare diamonds that was sent to me because we have like not enough all those containers are empty I just touch on the top of each other just to get off the floor so up there I have my um, sparkle gems, diamond painting, cross stitching, some beads, some more uh, beads and some nails product. So this shelving obviously right now is um, kind of nothing yet. So I was working mostly on this closet in here that I have. So what I did, I empty absolutely everything. So on the very top, I put something that I'm um, not gonna really use like right now because those rolls up there, it's a heat press vinyl and was on a disc shelving, but I'm not really using it right now. So I put the vinyl on the top up there and some other boxes that I don't need it yet. In here I put 
my beading supplies it's all temporarily as well I'm just kind of trying to get all together stuff first so that's uh, another the lids from my containers just stuck on top of each other um, some threads up there now this is cross stitching bin uh, like a acrylic bin all cross stitching that I already started in here all cross stitching brand new and then look I put a diamond paintings like this but I don't like it and this is the bigger canvas is the like at least uh, 100 centimeters or 85 centimeters long and it's kind of sticking out of the shelving but it's hard for me to see which one is what so I need to reorganize this so that's why I already I pull out some from here because it was stuck to the top yeah lots of canvases up there all the way um, in here all beads all beads beading supplies and I just kind of restock reuse some containers um, that this one was probably uh, with something with my paper craft downstairs too, bins like this so now I put beads in it but I still I just kind of like separated them but then I have to go through each container and just do shelf by shelf slowly um, in here on the bottom shelf there's some frames some painter uh, frames that we can glue diamond painting on the, on the top some 3d diamond painting as well in here here is one more of my light pad if I need it my my good good camera mm. oh my god the cricket and whole bunch of cartridges the box is full uh, some colorful napkins in here for decoupage um, now in here on the bottom mostly I just stack it whatever but the humongous box up there full of candles uh, candles that I did some DIY like a uh, pictures on it uh, yarn up there uh, my heat press one more up there but for now this is just like a it's not organized yet I just stuck there so I can have a floor because I have no floor in here so this is what I will do this canvases and the one that in the box I will probably flatten them so for now this room is work in progress because I need to reorganize and figure out what I'm gonna put on the top of the shelf maybe some books um, something that not very often I use because it's really high away and I cannot reach it without step stool oh by the way in here see my ribbons up there on the top and here is my white hydrangea that I dry uh, I got a little bit too late for them because some of them a little bit got darker color dry but some of them nice and bright so this is dry already and I can put bouquet this in the ways yeah lots of this crafting supplies I have to move as well probably downstairs because all my paper craft now will be downstairs I move lots of stuff from here and this is all die cuts all die cuts um, yeah lots of lots of stuff which is really like on the top of there I have to go through lots of stuff um, oh for the candles that's what I was doing see this is, was just my very first one that I practiced by putting Catherine on a on a candle two different pictures and that's this kind of candles and like a halfway shorter so we will do those DIYs and it's beautiful present for Christmas for your families um, and here it's all makeup up there as you can see but right now it's very messy so and lots of stuff on the floor boxes because in here this box in here from used to be dogs raw food in here will be perfect fit for my 30 by 40 diamond paintings flat I have two pink containers that's empty right now can store diamonds in it 
So I have lots of lots of work. Oh, lots of work. Lots of mess I created, but I can see now. I can walk actually here now. This table was just covered with stuff. So uh, after I reorganized this table, should be pretty much empty. I can put some diamond paintings on it on this table and dining paint up there because I have this high chair that I bought in auction and you know the, the window is open so it's lots of light in here as well my box is empty full of garbage of this plastic wraps and on the table here is what we have right now now I have tweezers this is my favorite metal one that I really really love in here all those tweezers like a stainless steel and different kind that always can be handy to do something around the house but this one definitely a keeper for the craft so this go nowhere now this plastic one very very cheap plastic i'm gonna toss in the garbage right now i don't need them next what we have in here you grip in here I have somewhere already in a jar more of the gripping more wax that I was the um, separate them before but for now I have a whole bunch in here tips all the bags this is all the big bags and in here all stack of small tiny bags and then look at this variety of the tray and look at the stack of them oh my god ridiculous amount and then I still gonna go I separate them this one before but what I will do now I'm gonna leave only one tip all those multi placers I will take them off and keep them on a different bag I see in here a few of my favorites that I like to work uh, multi placer is the one white one seven placer it's the most precise you can create diamond painting. This uh, clear one, not as best. This white one, I love it. And here is what I have pack of pen in here. In here, pile of wax. <laughs> Looks so pretty. You want to eat. Looks like candy. Uh, yeah, and there's more trays in here. So, now I have to find the proper kind of container to keep them all together and I will get back to you and show you what I've come up with. I just want to show you a few things. I tried before this tacky gooey thing from dollar store because some people were using them as a wax. They say good. I tried. I did not like it. First of all, very hard to get into the pen so I don't like that but also look at, there's a beautiful pink transparent wax this is like a, just a regular but I have few of this and then I have few blocks of blue wax that came with diamond painting and one oops slippery and a white one yeah so that's kind of interesting so I have a bag for now, I just put right now like this, but I will uh, put them on the box so they stay flat and not getting curled up and damaged. All my pans and bags and tweezers I put back into this handy dandy bag and I have millions of them right now. So that's going to be future project. Uh, in this container from dollar store, I put my tips in a jar in here. I have my grippy and piece of adhesive that sometimes come with diamond painting to fix it if it's a double-sided sheet. In here my containers from Dreamer Design and other uh, to hold the wax if I have to. Now my trays. Look at this. I have a cake container. This is cake container. There is a beautiful storage solution for you for cheap and it's full of trays. I put all trays in here for now 
when I get more of them the white and green will be separated but for now it's fit perfectly all in this container Woo, lots of work I will record video how I will separate my diamond paintings I will try I know that process will be long but I will try to record some video because that's what you wanted to see Wow I think I'm done with this one today. I need a break and a coffee. See you soon.